Today I'm going to show you my new offset, the Old Country Barbecue Pits Pecos. Burn-in, seasoning, and initial review. Well, here she is, the Old Country Barbecue Pits Pecos, my new offset. Now I bought an offset because number one, I didn't own one. Number two, I wanted to learn the fire management necessary to run an offset. And number three, I wanted to cook brisket in a traditional sense. Texas style brisket is cooked on an offset with a live wood burning fire, the heat coming in, drafting over your food and out a smokestack. Now the reason why I chose the Old Country Barbecue Pecos was, well, I was looking for a middle of the road entry level offset. Because a lot of guys buy offsets and they rust away in their backyard. It requires a lot to manage a fire on these things. And I know that thicker steel is important Reverse flow is great. You can spend an exorbitant amount of money on a cooker, but if you're not gonna use it very much, it's kind of a waste. I know plenty of people on YouTube that do this. That's okay, I might be that person too, so I'm, I'm willing to admit that. So I thought I'd buy a cooker in a price range that was appropriate for someone starting out. And I also wanna see if an offset at this price range is really worth the money. And this thing is only $400, so that's a big selling point for me. But what I like about this cooker is it's welded steel. A lot of cookers in its price point are bolted together. Now this is 14 gauge and the door is 11 gauge. Probably just to give you an idea that it's thicker than it is. Well, that's what I like about it, it's welded steel. And I also like the fact the firebox is quite large. Some offsets you buy at a box store, the firebox is rather small. This thing can actually take almost a full split of wood, which is great. What I also like about the Pecos is the cook chamber. It's rather large. It's 630 inches of cooking surface. And the larger the cook chamber, the easier it is to manage your fire. So you can put a full pack of brisket here, and the heat can come in from the fire, into the cook chamber, up over your brisket, out the smokestack. And this is another reason why I like the Pecos. The smokestack is quite large. I think it's like probably five or six inches in diameter. It drafts quite well, but most importantly, it drafts at a great level. So that heat and smoke comes in up over your food and out at a great level. And that's very important. A lot of the cheaper offsets you can buy in a box store, their stacks are small and they come out at the top of the cook chamber. They wind up putting like a hose here to try to get the draft from a great level. And weirdly, there's expensive offsets like the Yoder Wichita, for example, drafts the same way. I, I don't know why, but if you look at them, uh -huh. or a fat stack, handmade smoker, they're all drafting at great level because that's what cooks want. That's what they prefer, especially for brisket. Now, Old Country Barbecue Pits is a Texas-based company, but these are manufactured in Mexico. There will be a giant sucking sound going south. And they're sold through or at Academy Sports. Now, the Pecos has pretty good reviews. I think 3.8 stars on academy.com. A lot of the bad reviews, if you read them, they mostly have to do with people that ordered this thing and it got shipped to their house and when they got it, it was damaged. Other people say it's best for you to go to the store and pick one out. Now, that's what I did. I looked at seven of these in two different stores. And I can tell you sadly that all of them had at least one or two problems. And whether it was door seals not lining up correctly, heat plate being crooked, holes in the welding, or actually holes in the cook chamber. One actually had a hole in the cook chamber. Crazy. Like the size of like a 380. This one actually had a bent damper, which I'll have to fix. The bolt that holds the damper on is welded, so I'm going to have to saw this off and then bend the damper back and bolt on the damper once it's bent back correctly. Uh, I pointed that out and uh, the manager was kind enough to give me 10% off, so I got a fairly good deal on this thing, I think. I mean, I paid about 360 something for it. Now, this thing is quite heavy. It weighs about 225 pounds, so you're going to need some friends to help you move it if you do buy one. Now, when you buy a new cooker like the Pecos, there's going to be some grease inside. You're going to want to start a fire and burn out that grease. It's like a weird film that's on the, from the factory. Once that's done, you want to season it with oil, protect it so it doesn't rust over time. And I'll walk you through that whole entire process. How I did it, how you do it is up to you. All right, so what I did to burn this thing out was just build a fire in the firebox, let it run for like five or six hours at like 300 plus degrees. When I came back the next day, the firebox was dry, but there was still some of that greasy factory residue in the cook chamber. So what I did was take the charcoal grate out of the firebox, put it in the cook chamber, flank it with some bricks and splits, put a chimney of coals in there. After an hour or two, the rest of the residue was gone. And the next step is seasoning, which is just involves spraying the interior down with the cooking oil. First things first though, you need to make sure you remove all that ash and residue 
in the cook chamber and the firebox. Now I'm spraying the interior down with canola oil because of its high flash point, but you can use a number of cooking oils. I'm also using a pump sprayer to apply it, but you could probably get away with like two cans of an aerosol spray. I will say that it's probably best that you put down a tarp or a drop cloth because there's going to be some overspray. Now even though the exterior is painted, I felt it was a good idea to put a light coat of oil on the exterior as well because there are already some spots where the paint has scratched off and it can't hurt. Once the pit was coated inside and out, I built a fire in the firebox and let it run hot for several hours to cook the oil in. Now while I was doing this, I noticed a problem. And not just the fact this thing needs a gasket, that's without question. I noticed that the oil in the cook chamber, which is supposed to flow down towards the stack and out the drain plug, was flowing back towards the firebox. I don't know if it's my patio, which is kind of crooked and old, or that the cook chamber was not canned properly, but that wasn't the only problem. The bigger problem was that the oil was leaking through the weld between the cook chamber and the firebox. It's not supposed to happen. Now apparently Old Country Barbecue Pits guarantees these wells for a year, but I'm not gonna mess with that. I think I can either just raise the wheels up a bit to cant the cook chamber in the right direction, do some JB weld or some RTV sealant, but it might just seal itself up over time. Now because I'm gonna keep the Pecos outside, I bought a cover for this thing from Academy Sports. It's made by Old Country Barbecue Pits. I gotta say, it's really well made, fits like a glove, and the rain rolls right off. Now in the end, I still think this thing is worth the money. I do recommend though that you go to a store to pick one out if you can. Buying it online can be risky, but given the price, it might be worth the risk. Now keep in mind, Academy does not deliver everywhere. Certainly not to California, because offsets out of state cause cancer, you know. I know Fix at Fix Barbecue, he had to go out of state to get one. Let me tell you something though, he's cooking some amazing food on his Pecos and his Wrangler. He's done some really cool mods too. Guys, check out his channel. He's kind of the guy that sold me on this thing. I was on the fence, but he won me over. Guys, I am really excited to cook on this thing. I know that I need to work out a few kinks first. The bent damper, the leak, I don't need a gasket, an analog thermometer. I'll probably throw in some tuning plates. There are some great accessories for this thing available from Lava Lock at BarbecueSmokerMods.com. So be on the lookout for some install videos as well as some cooking videos. Guys, as always, I hope you learned something. I know I certainly did. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm out.